Okay, in this video, I'm going to share with you what MetaTrader 4 is and so how you can use it. Okay, so if you're a new trader, you probably heard of uh, the platform called MetaTrader and that's probably why you are watching this video right now. Okay, so if you're not too sure, okay, MetaTrader 4 is actually a trading platform, right, that you can use to trade the foreign exchange market or Forex in short. Now, the platform itself is actually just kind of like a platform. You still need a brokerage uh, to work with if you want to trade, okay? But most of the brokerages have a demo account, right? You can just check out, uh, you know, the websites of the brokerages and get a free MetaTrader for demo account, okay? The platform is free. That's what we love about it. It's actually quite intuitive. Uh, in in a sense that um, it's really easy to use. Okay, as I go through this, uh, you know, short video, you will see that it's actually very straightforward when it comes to uh, using uh, this platform. Okay, so this MetaTrader Four is actually kind of like the gold standard in trading. Okay, you have um, you have the mobile version as well. The mobile version is free as well. Uh, that means that even on the go, you're able to check your positions as well as your Trades. Okay, so now in this video, how I'm going to break it down is I'm going to talk about the top section first. I go on to the charts, then I talk about the bottom section. Okay, so now if you have downloaded your MetaTrader 4, uh, this is how it looks like. Okay, so in the top section, uh, you kind of have uh, certain options. You have your open an account, log into your account. Okay, pretty straightforward stuff. Okay, you can also save picture, meaning that you like to save a chart, right, so that you can uh, document your trades. Okay, so that's for a uh, file. So over at view, you have uh, different languages. So personally, uh, I'm using English, so you can see over here English. Okay, when you talk about two bars, you're actually talking about uh, this bars on top. Okay, uh, personally, I like to keep my uh, platform rather clean. So you can see that, uh, you know, it's just one bar. Okay, uh, you can control uh, what kind of uh, bars you want to see, or rather what, uh, what you wish to see over here. Uh, for me, I just leave all on, okay? You have the symbols uh, uh, section as well, which actually is just showing you uh, what kind of uh, pairs you want to activate, right? Because sometimes you have certain pairs uh, which are not activated. So let me see if I can show you an example. Okay, so if you see, for example, like this, it's, uh, it's yellow in color, right? Yellow color means that uh, you are actually showing it. Okay, meaning that uh, you can actually see it in your, uh, when you try to open a new chart. But uh, sometimes when uh, you open a new, um, you open a new brokerage account, or you open a use MT4 account, MetaTrader 4 account, uh, it, it, it's like this, right? So it's silver in color. Silver in color means that uh, you can't actually pull out a chart, right? Um, so what you want to do is, if you can't find a particular currency that you want to trade, you want to head over to the symbol section and click uh, show, okay? Then that's how uh, you'll be able to see all the currency pairs. Okay, uh, let me just uh, close this, okay. So that's view for you. Uh, you have market watch as well. So uh, earlier on, I was saying that uh, sometimes if your symbol is not activated, then uh, you will not see it here. So for example, this one over here, um, it's this color because I did not activate the uh, uh I did not activate the uh currency pair like like what you see just now. Okay. Okay, I don't know why it's not working. Anyway, uh this is how you see all the currency pair at one glance, uh including the indexes, you know, the uh, uh commodities. Uh, personally I don't really use this because it's just too much for me. Okay, imagine uh when the market is open, right? Uh, now the market is closed, but imagine when the market is open and you know they're all moving at the same time, okay? It can be pretty overwhelming, okay? So I don't do that, okay? Uh, data window, um, I, I don't really go through all this kind of stuff. Data window is just kind of like you point at a particular uh, candle and it tells you what is the low, what's the high, and you know, uh, the close, or all, all this kind of data, okay? So uh, that's... Uh, Okay, um, you have the navigation. Okay, the navigation is uh, kind of where you get all your, um, all your you know, indicators and uh, 
whatever installed into it, right? Um, that will be a separate video because uh, that could be very technical. Okay, uh, terminal is actually your uh, your account, right? Uh, for sake of privacy, I won't show it here, but uh, you, you can see, for example, how much money you have in an account, you know, uh, what kind of margins are you using and what's your, uh, how much you, how much free margin you have available, okay? Full screen, uh, I don't need to say much. A strategy tester is something that uh, you can actually test your own uh, uh, strategy, but this has to be a uh, ex what is known as expert advisor. So expert advisor is kind of like a uh, uh, you, a, a bunch of codes or algorithm that uh, you have that uh, you get a programmer to write for you and you test it against uh, you know the historic data that you have here. Okay, uh, again that one. Uh, if you are new, uh, you don't need to go into all this. Okay, so my goal of this video is to cover uh, all the basics. Okay, uh, I could get into very technical uh, details, but uh, I don't think I want to do that because uh, if I do that, then I will probably lose a lot of you. Okay, uh, this is a beginner video, so I'm just trying to run through the beginner stuff with you. Okay, so insert uh, pretty straightforward. You can insert your indicators. Custom indicators are indicators that are uh, installed, uh, you know, you download online, you download from us, or anywhere right you can install uh probably create a new separate video of how to upload your custom indicators okay um then after that you have all these lines Fibonacci. Uh, there's nothing much to say about this just uh, basically inserting things into the charts okay uh charts uh you have the indicator list okay uh shows you uh, what kind of uh, indicators you're currently using okay uh you have objects which is uh whatever you drew okay so you see i drew a lot of uh, rectangle okay and you have the three types of charts. Okay, you have the time frame, the templates. Uh, honestly, nothing much to say about this. Okay, just this section just has to do with uh your charts. Okay, now tools. Uh, new order here. New order has to do with um, of course, when you want to enter a new trade, right? So you uh new order. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, history center has to do with uh the past trades that you took you taken. Okay. Uh, this field I won't really uh, go into it. Okay, window. This is very useful. The okay? window has to do with how you arrange your charts. So, for example, right now, um, you can see that uh, this is not the only chart I have open. I have a lot of charts, right? So, how do you arrange them neatly so that you can look at one glance? It's actually uh, clicking this button here, okay, which is actually the same as uh, clicking this, okay. So uh, that's how it works. So window has to do with uh, how you arrange your charts. Now this is very important because uh, uh, you want to have a whole snapshot of how the market is moving, not just a particular pair, okay? This is very helpful for monitoring a uh, particular you know, currency. So for example, over here, you can see that I'm looking at Kiwi and ZD. So all these are all uh, Kiwi charts, okay? All Kiwi charts, see NZD uh, dollar, NZD franc, NZD cat, right? So it's all, uh, this is how I structure it, okay? So that's it for this tab over here. Now this tab over here is the toolbar, okay? Uh, all these are just your tools, right? I won't go through each of the individual tools, but I'd just like to say that uh, you can do a right click and you can customize, okay? Uh, whatever you don't really use, you can actually, uh, you know, remove it or insert it, okay? For me, I don't like to clutter, Clutter my uh you know my tuba. So you have a new order as well. So uh and I think I talk about this this particular um feature. Okay, of course I can't cover every single feature because uh if not this video is gonna take like an hour, okay. That's not my goal. My goal is to keep this short. Okay, so uh this over here is uh very useful. So for example, uh, we talk about the red one first. Uh, you, you're looking at a chart, you want to leave some space because sometimes, you know, it's not very pleasant, the eyes. Right? So what you can do is you can click this button to leave a space. So now you can see that uh, there is a space uh, in between the last candle and, uh, you know, the end of the chart. Okay? What you can do is you can also uh, adjust this distance. Okay, just click this uh, gray line and move, you know, you know, to shave it. Okay? So personally, I just like to keep it about like this. Okay, this one over here, um, as it says, scroll the chart to the end of the incoming. Okay, so what happens is uh, this one will actually, let's say you are looking historically and uh, uh, you want price to, you know, because when price is moving, of course the market is closed now, so it won't work. But uh, when price is moving, you have a next tick movement and you're scrolling, price will automatically come back to the uh, start. Okay, so 
whenever you are, let's say, analyzing the charts like historically, and uh, you know the, the market is open, then this is not something you want to live on. Okay, but if you are trading, correct, uh, let's say you are just monitoring the charts, you, you don't want to leave this on so that the chart uh, moves with as price uh, carry on to move. Okay, so uh, all this I will really say, uh, this is uh, basically pull out a new chart. Okay, uh, this is the market watch that uh, I mentioned earlier, data window, navigation, terminal. So basically all this over here is actually can be found in here. Okay, uh, that's why this is called a toolbar. Okay, you just think of it like, uh, let's say you use Firefox or use your Chrome browser and you have bookmarks, you have your favorite, uh, you know, your favorites so that you can access them quickly. Okay, so this is uh, what the toolbar is. Okay, so you can customize it. Okay, now let's talk about the chart itself. Okay, the chart itself, uh, nothing much to say except that uh, you can do a right click. So right click, what you can do is uh, you can do a cell limit. Okay, so if let's say you want to sell limit at uh, this level, you just point it and do a sell limit like this. Uh, personally, I don't like to do that because uh, if you are not careful, you might you know sell limit at the wrong level. Okay, I prefer to enter order in. Okay, so uh, this is how you place an order. You have the symbol. Okay, make sure that uh, you are choosing the correct symbol. Okay, because what happens is sometimes uh, you NL click and then you, you are supposed to, let's say you are trying to sell Kiwi dollar, end up you, you sell dollar cat instead. Okay, and that's not something you want. Okay, uh, you have the volume also, right? Uh, volume, it's uh, this is 1.0 is actually one standard lot. Okay, uh, if you don't know how to calculate the uh, peak value or your position size, please watch our other videos. Okay, we have a lot of videos content about all this in our channel. Okay, these are all free. Make sure you uh, watch it. Okay, uh, so download the copy of our free day trading guide. Okay, we leave a link in the description. It's free. Okay, just check all this out. We create a lot, a lot of content like this uh, just for you. Okay, so anyway, back to this. Uh, you have to stop loss, you have to take profit. Okay. Uh, nothing much to say about this. Uh, comments. Uh, if let's say you are trading using a trading system and you have um, you know, uh, you call yourself oh I trade a bounce strategy, right? Just for reference. Okay, personally I don't do this. Okay, market uh execution has to do with uh market order means you buy and sell on the spot right now at the current price. Okay, uh pending order means uh you have a buy limit and a you have a limit order and just stop order. Okay, uh, I won't go into full details about this because this is more technical already. This is more about trading. Uh, this is how you enter a uh, buy limit or, you know, or stop order over here. Okay, so anyway, back to this. If you do a right click, uh, you have depth on market, which I don't really use for Forex because uh, Forex is uh, not regulated. So each brokerage will have their own data. Okay, so I don't really believe in using the depth market here. Uh, you have one click trading, which is super useful. Okay, so you know you can uh, just easily enter without using the uh, new order uh, tab. Right, this is so much easier. Okay, uh, indicators, these objectives, all these are things I'm not going to talk about because I talked about earlier. Uh, time frames, you know, which can be changed here. So can also be changed here. Templates. Okay, uh, nothing much. Uh, grid. And uh, properties, okay, properties worth talking about. So properties is where you actually change, uh, you know, how your chart looks. Uh, because for you, you might not like this, you might not like this color, you might think it's a bit, you know, too, too difficult to see. So you can change your color scheme, right? Everything can be customized, right? That's why I so love, uh, you know, why I love a Meta Trader 4, because uh, it's very easy to use, okay? Then in the comment section, uh, you have more uh, options. You have to show the ask line. Right? Show the ask line means that uh, you want to see the bid and the ask price at the same time. Of course, you can also change the, uh, the you want to grid, you know, or not, and whether you want to show all this. Okay, I will leave you to uh, play around with all this. Okay, I won't go into detail. Okay, so this is the ask line. Okay. Okay, so that's it. So now let's talk about the last section over here. So earlier on, I told you that uh, you can, uh, you know, you can structure your charts like this, right? So uh, when you open a lot of charts, you can actually save it as a profile, okay? You can save it as a profile. So for me, you can see over here that I save different profiles. So if I change to uh, majors, right, then uh, I'm looking at all the major pairs. Okay, so this is super useful, okay? In fact, um, this one so-called uh, tip, rather, uh, actually helped me to improve my trading a lot because I was able to see at a glance, you know, uh, what currency pair I should be focusing on, okay? Uh, because sometimes, you know, when price is, for example, um, 
let's talk about Kiwi dollar. Let's say Kiwi dollar is very, uh, very strong, right? But it's only Kiwi dollar. So I see that, for example, if I see that the other Kiwi pairs are not strong, then I can reasonably conclude that uh, it's not Kiwi that is strong, but rather dollar that is weak, okay? So I can make very good uh, decisions when I'm able to see the data like this, right? to see the market at fun glance. So this is something you want to set up for yourself. So what you can do is you can uh, open all the charts for the currency and then click this button here, right? Or you go to the window and you, know, you just uh, put tau window. Okay, and then you can save the profile as uh, whatever uh, you wish to call it. Okay, so next time, like you can see, I can just switch the, between currencies uh, easily. Okay, uh, the last thing would be uh, here, which uh, basically you log in here. Okay, so I won't, uh, I won't access it right now because uh, I, do, I don't want my account uh, number to be, you know, to go on YouTube and everyone knows it, but uh, you basically that's where you log in. Okay, you just log in over there, and uh, this is how you use the platform. Okay, it's rather straightforward. Okay, uh, as I said, I cannot explain everything to you, right? There is also, uh, you know, over here there's a uh, auto trading. Uh, this is actually using what is known as an expert advisor, uh, EA in short, to run your trades or monitor your trades for you. Okay, that again is very technical. I don't want to go into technical details here. Okay, if you want a more, you know, in-depth guide, you want a more technical guide, then please leave a comment in the section below so that I can record a video like this just for you. Okay, so um, the last thing that you need to do, right, after watching this video is you need to download a free copy of our day trading guide, okay? Chances are if you are watching this video then you are probably new to trading right that's why you have questions like this okay so we want to help you okay i want to help you right and that's why i put together a day trading guide okay it's totally free okay just access the link down up below okay if you need a brokerage account right and let's say you want to get an mt4 because you you see that it's very easy to use like this you want to use right there's also a link below okay when you use my link right or our link right our team has actually negotiated for a very good deal for you, okay? Good in the sense that you get additional bonus, right? You get our signals and you also get our entire Forex course, right? We cover everything you need to know, right? The basics, you know, what's a PIP, what's currency, right? We share everything uh, you need to know. So if you have not um, checked that out, you haven't clicked the link below, just click the link below, okay? So make sure you subscribe to our videos, okay? We hope you got value from this. Any questions, please let us know. Okay, we'll see you in the next video.